Imaging of the intestinal mucosa in health and disease has been greatly advanced through the introduction of novel light and sound wave based technologies as shown by confocal laser endomicroscopy. We present Raster scanning optoacoustic mesoscopy as a technology with excellent characteristics for preclinical and future clinical use. In contrast to other imaging modalities, it achieves high resolution images with an imaging depth of still several millimeters. This approach can serve to visualize mucosal features, the whole intestinal wall, and the composition of targeted tissues. This video is divided in two parts. Part 1 describes the technology itself, while part 2 gives an insight into preclinical gastrointestinal applications. Raster scanning optoacoustic mesoscopy can be performed on a preclinical system equipped with a small animal bed. The scan head equipped with two light sources and an ultrasound detector is directly placed over the shaved skin of the animal. During scanning, the tissue is illuminated with a 532 nanometer laser, which can automatically rust a bigger volume. Currently planned developments for 500 kHz lasers will reduce scan times to 0.5 seconds. Ultrasound detection enables a high axial and lateral resolution of both endo and exogenous absorbers such as hemoglobin. As a first case example, we show R some images of freshly excised liver tissue which was captured at low and high frequencies. This visualized the vascular anatomy of the organ down to small details. Using this approach, imaging could be performed over a set stack of images, which gives a vivid three-dimensional impression of the organ's vascular anatomy. This resolution enables a precise analysis of vascular structures in the organ. Small capillaries are much better visible at high frequencies, as shown in green, and vessels with larger diameter are visible at low frequencies, as shown in red. Similar results can be obtained in diperfused fixed tissues. However, diperfusion increases the visibility of small structures. This imaging approach is not limited to one organ. The system is able to visualize hemoglobin in a broad variety of organs and can be applied to many scientific questions.